You interested at all in the Toy Story version of the game? No, not really. Uh, I, I like Toy Story though, good. I like, I think three was the best one. Woody always put the team on his back, but I think some of my brothers are gonna record it and maybe I'll watch it later. So I'm just interested in the game. I'm walking away with a win. Exactly. How important would, it, would getting that done this week be? That's important for the team. Uh, morale getting back on track. Um, obviously going over there, business trip. Name of the game, always get the win. So find a way to bring that right energy. And uh, that's what we're aiming for. What kind of players was John Robinson? It's a good one. I mean, you see it on tape. Dynamic with the ball in his hands. We're going to need to swarm the football. We're going to always make a big play happen. So, uh, you know, I obviously got good speed, good looseness, good change of direction. Um, but, you know, we got to trust in our own ability as well. Any feelings for you going against your former team for the first time? I'm sure those will be flowing during the game or, you know, right before the game. Um, probably he's trying to smile and dab me up. Like, we ain't really got hard feelings and stuff, but still, I don't know. Uh, you know, you know, I like Coach Smith. You know, he always got something to say. Um, this is how he is, kind of poking, poking back and forth. That's how he, that's how he does it. So I'm sure he'll have some things to say before I get there. How ready is he? Oh, he's very ready. Oh, he's a good guy, uh, good student of the game. Uh, always ready to own his role. Uh, good communicator so far during the week. You know, we all got trust in him, and you know, he fits right into whatever role we put him in. Defense had gotten off to a fast start to the season last week. Maybe a little bit of a stumble. How do you guys get back to? I like guess I said it's just week to week thing. Uh, you always gotta be able to put your best best stuff on tape. Like I don't really care what you did last week, what you did the first two weeks. You're not on your P's and Q's, somebody's gonna exploit you. So whatever, you know, a little bit lack of energy, a little bit lack of communication, that can go you know go a long way. So we have to get back to being on our details, being able to play fast, play physical at the point of attack, and uh, really own what we're supposed to do. It's always about what we bring to the field, what we see, playing through what we see, what we do. Uh, that's how you become a good defense and then taking the ball away. Get back to that. You've made the trip to London before. How does playing back-to-back -back games and staying there. It'll be interesting things. for sure. Um, we got to think of the whole recovery part. We ain't got all the recovery tools and stuff, so we're going to have to find a way to, to, to refresh our legs. But really, I'm trying to get, uh, care, take care of this first game first, put everything into that. We'll take care of that recovery you know, after, after that. But um, I played this first game three times now. Uh, first time I went, you know, those story I, I didn't sleep when I was supposed to sleep. Like, the body, you know, I was just up. I, I didn't know how to. So the second time, I got my sleep better, my energy was better. Uh, so I want to say my master at London now, but I feel like, you know, I've learned how to take this, do this trip the right way. Obviously, with the week after that, there'll be a whole new experience, but um, we'll tackle this first game first. How different is that environment in, in London with just the fans and, and all that kind of stuff? They're not necessarily all, you know, in one. They're not rooting for one team necessarily. It's kind of a mixed, mixed blend. Right? I played at Yale, so fans, you know, they're on the outside. They're rooting for something. They don't know what they're rooting for. Yale Harvard game, full. They don't know what they're rooting for. <laughs> but they're there yelling. So it kind of feels like that a little bit. Nothing I'm not really used to. Uh, when we're on the field, it's all about what we're doing, our, our communication and stuff. They'll yell when they're yelling. But we, we know how to bring our energy to our own sideline.